Become a subscriber to Wikisana now. Dear viewers, a warm welcome to our today's format, Visit. And thank you for all the valuable letters. And let me give you some of the content right now. It's about a family. It's about a family, and the daughter writes to me. And she writes, Peace be with you and your families. Our father was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And it seems to be malignant. I don't understand the medical term, but where does it come from? Because a month ago he went to the GP and he said, You're going to be 100 years old. We're thinking, because our mother had MS years ago. She then excreted a lot of toxins, heavy metals, and has overcome it for years. But our father is an office worker. He never came into contact with garbage or garbage of the paint industry. And my mother has already caused him to get a detoxification infusion so that the heavy metals go away. But the GP doesn't want to do a full body MRI. Because that would just be a prostate tumor. And my mother also says, this radiation burden would be far too high. It's very difficult sometimes together even though we're all trying very hard to eat healthy. And a lot has changed. We usually don't eat meat, fish or eggs. But sometimes our father is not as cooperative as we think he should be. But slowly he noticed the urgency and allowed us to send you this doctor's letter. We always watch your videos and we love health. May God be with you and your families. Thank you very, very much for this really loving, sincere email. And I know that through the accompanying letter that your father is already 85 years old. And you, dear Gerhard, I'll talk to you now. I'll start with Gerhard. You haven't done so much wrong in your life. You're here, you're 85 years old. And I can understand you very, very well. We know today, and your GP, who really knows you as someone. His right. The potential that's inside you, the many highs and lows that you've taken, they'll let you get old. If you ask a little more about all these things, then I'd like to give you some advice, but school medical thinking is not really fruitful at this moment. We know that the prostate carcinoma has different biological forms. And 45% are so-called domestic animal cancer. That means the older man, where the tumor is only now visible, will say goodbye to the world at some point, and will go with him, not because of him. I was allowed to look at the findings, and I noticed two or three things, and I'd like to be able to explain that a little bit now, because that's of course also very important for other viewers. In addition, we also have today. And I want to emphasize this again, 
that we in a tumor event always look at the state. That means we have a state to judge. And we're going to define a state now, which is never a state, but a process. And a process that has arisen in my body, which has also arisen through a wrong communication of my cells. Tumor is a wrong cell communication with the environment. This has led to the fact that in the biopsy, several points have been made. Moderately differentiated tumor cells were found. Moderately. That means the prostate organ has a lot of healthy cells, but moderately differentiated cells were also found. You don't have more. And now a look at what is healthy. Healthy would mean that the body leads a healthy communication with its environment. Always when the cell membranes, the cell receptus, when there is a certain communication disturbance by the environment, the cell is also embedded in the environmental system. That means, for example, if I have a fish in the water, then I make sure that its environment is intact. So I always have to make sure that there is fresh water and it gets food. And then the fish gets as old as a fish can get. This is something that is no longer possible for an organ and for the cells. When they communicate differently with the environment, the cell metabolism changes. And we have known this since 1930. Warburg discovered this. What changes when cell communication causes the cell to go into another cell biological metabolism? And now we have to realize that we see and know the fact of the cells and that we are now proceeding with a certain therapy protocol against it. And that's how we do it with tumor diseases. We say, this is a tumor, these are the cells. Now we have to operate, now we have to do chemotherapy or radiation or hormone therapy or whatever. That means, if we look at a state, look at a tumor event and now do a very radical therapy. Such as chemotherapy or radiation, then we don't look at the process at all, but we beg in with the result of a process, which, of course, is associated with a very high price, because it does not take into account the cause at all. destroys a lot of healthy things and, of course, also destroys the cells that are responsible for maintaining this balance or are increasingly weakened to recognize tumor cells. Because that's what an immune system can do if tumor cells or if cells become tumor cells, then a signal of a natural cell death is created this is called apoptosis, then these cells are led to a cell death. And this order has to prevail in a body. And that's balance, and that's health, if you want to understand health. So what you need now? I'll get to that in a moment, but I would like to explain to you how it came about that you even received such a biopsy. I did not perceive that it was in any way a symptomatic problem. That is, you have now had pain or could no longer urinate, and so on. I can't see that from your documents. But what I could see was the PSA value. And the PSA value, that's a biomarker, it's not in any case a tumor marker, but the PSA value has a normal value and it goes up to about 4.4 nanograms per milliliter.
up to 4.4. Not all men can have up to 4.4 nanograms per milliliter, but 0 to 4.4 is a normal value. You had 2.59 in February. And I would say the same thing, you are turning 100 years old, because that's 2.59. And I don't know how it came about, how you suddenly measure again in March, that's completely unusual, but you get somewhere, maybe you have presented yourself to the mandatory appointment, whatever, but there you were from 2.59 to 2.95. but below 4.4. And now you're doing a biopsy, now you're searching, who provoked this increase and so on. Although all of this, whether 2.5 or 2.9, was below 4.4. That's my first big question. Because a biopsy creates unrest. A biopsy can of course strengthen the imbalance. And now you have a diagnosis, which means a moderately differentiated diagnosis, no lymph nodes, no metastases, not at all. You only have these cells. And that of course does not justify any kind of therapy. And I understand you so well. And now I have to turn to your daughter and your wife a bit, because these values that you have sent me have not only shown these good PSA values, that's why I would like to ask you not to make the whole thing bigger than it is, but it has also shown that the vitamin B12 value was quite low. And you have to promise that. Your father gets a bit of meat and good beef, or even game, but also a good organic piece of meat, which he likes. Because all he needs now is a healthy diet, without question. And maybe we'll get to a few more things, but B12 has to be well balanced again, because with too little B12 I can't detoxify well. That's my nerve vitamin. That's important for blood formation. So I have to have a better view of B12. Especially since B12 is an important cofactor for many processes. That means, if I have too little B12, my homocysteine can increase. Then the risk of atherosclerosis, which is a circulation disorder, is not good. It's not good at all. So now, in terms of nutrition, a balanced, wonderful, High-grade organic diet, which also includes everything. Good fruit and vegetables, please. Not too many sweet fruits. Berries are very nice. And also apples are good. And vegetables, plenty of good vegetables. But please also think about protein. That's very important, because if you don't have protein, your body takes it. Protein changes its potential, and the daddy loses weight. And that's not good. He shouldn't lose weight. But I don't know how much weight he has at the moment. Excuse me, Gerhard, maybe it's good to lose a little bit. But the disease actually needs to focus a little more on the current care and on the body, which you can now support with your own strength. and the communication or what enables you to a very large, I would say, healing, is not up to me personally as a doctor. But when I think about the primordial trust that is in the body and how the inner healing forces activate, then it's only about joy. Also about gratitude. Such a life was given to us. And the average age is 84, 85 for men, for women one or two years more.
that means they are here. And that also means to recognize a process a little bit, but not to be shaken like crazy, just because there were moderately differentiated tumor cells. And if an inner healing can now happen, because an incredibly great force grows in them, by thinking a bit differently. But by reducing the carbohydrates. For example, every tumor cell needs 18 times more carbohydrates. So if you watch TV in the evening and then eat a few nice messy or a few nice mon sherry, that would be stupid, because in the evening you reduce the carbohydrates very much, so a good piece of meat or an egg or a piece of fish with vegetables or a soup, please not so much bread in the evening, that would just heat up a process. And you don't have to eat something you know about, but let this process and the body give you a certain opportunity to deal with it much better. And then a great process happens, which the immune system takes over again. The immune system, that has the task to recognize tumor cells. And every tumor that would grow creates a so-called lactic acid mantle. This is the lactate, the levorotatory lactic acid. So if you now eat a lot of fermented vegetables, sour. If you now, for example, take in the effective microorganisms. That is the microvida or the right regulate, the bioregulate, then that's 20 milliliters twice a day. Then these are things that dissolve this mantle that builds up around tumor cells. And if you still have such a strong power of natural killer cells, you can measure all of that and take a look at it. You can also measure the activity of the natural killer cells against an activator. Then maybe you would know through an increased vitamin D level, that's important, also vitamin D25OH and vitamin D1.25. Then through these things alone or also through the light outside, through the sun, you would essentially have an event from the body out in that direction. Well, I wouldn't say ask, but you would have an influence that these cells don't further differentiate and that they always stay where they are. And that you see them through additional sugar, that's bread, that's potatoes, that's noodles, that's pasta. Attention, in beer, wheat, that's sweet, I would take that down. But I wouldn't take the joy of a certain good glass of red wine if you like to drink it in the evening, I wouldn't take that. But I would make sure to make these things more conscious and better. And then you have already done a lot, a lot, a lot more than anyone else. And I would focus the great focus of therapy. On the daily joy, because I think all your ranks have already enlightened you. That means you are there, you are still there together with your wife, you have a wonderful daughter. I would do that with a lot of joy that we open up in the family. I wouldn't thematize it that much because then they are not constantly in the spotlight. Because if we now want to fight for years or decades and kill the cells with all our might, what's the point? It is important that they now have an incredibly good quality of life and that this process with all the strength that goes back and forth in their growth has a significant impact. And that is something that you really shouldn't underestimate because these things don't really matter in our everyday lives.
that's why peace and concentration are so important and nutrition is important and of course vitamin C is also very important. That's why you can also make a nice lemon smoothie, take 5 organic lemons and then wash the lemons nicely. You can of course use the peel of organic lemons and then shred them and put them in a mixer like mousse and then maybe. Add an apple. This is then filled. With water to drink it in the morning and in the evening a glass maybe. For example, you have already done a lot of good things. Then please also think about your gut. The gut must be emptied once or twice a day. This is an incredible toxin pressure also for the prostate. A colon therapist in your vicinity would be wonderful and then also take a good look at this process. If has good, then it's good. But I can't say that now. These are just recommendations that you can take now. And also make sure that everything is and stays soothing. Then, of course, vitamin D. Anti-inflammation therapy. Tumor events always have something to do with inflammation. That's why it would be good to take vitamin E now or eat nuts every day. Take selenium. These are paranuts, 6, 7 paranuts a day. Or you take selenium 150 to 200 micrograms. This gives you a very nice detoxification and also vitamin E. Vitamin E as tocotriol complex in combination with omega-3, 3,000 mg or a good argan oil or linseed oil or a good fish, salmon, mackerel, herring. But please never roar and pay attention to where the fish is from. These are things that I would first exhaust and then the effective microorganisms. That already is in my opinion far more important than if you do nothing and know nothing, just the fact and now just think of hormone therapy. Because we don't know if it's a tumor event that affects hormones. After 32 months every tumor hormone is deaf. So what happens after 32 months? That means if there was a estrogen dominance, then it wouldn't be good. You can measure that. You can also make a hormone status and then there is another question. If I have a too high estrogen load, it may be that my progesterone is perhaps too low. Then it has to be adjusted so that the stimulus factor is not too high. That's not a problem at all. But I wouldn't think about what to do. I would be grateful and above all get this fact out of my head. And if you now take selenium and if you also like to take chlorella, then you are already on the right track to detox. Please be a little more careful to think about. Kelotherapy. It doesn't make sense to do kelotherapy and maybe to be weaker with detoxification. Then you maneuver from left to right and I don't think that helps much. First of all, I would take advantage of the many, many other things. And every morning when I open my eyes, look gratefully in the face, maybe open the window. A little bit, enjoy life and have a goal for the day. What do we do today? Look back on the evening when you go to bed, thank you for everything you have done and thus integrate things with joy. But now, because of this topic, in no way should this prostata event have any meaning in the sense.
that you register the fact gratefully, but that you perhaps also justify that sometimes. You don't necessarily have to take up arms and destroy someone. That's not what it's about now. Now it's about joy of life and yes. And to be 85 years old and maybe to have many more beautiful years. A so-called domestic animal cancer, which 45% of all older men have, takes at least 10 to 15 years to develop a problem. That then causes great complaints. Regardless of the modest things I see here, I hope that you could have some valuable information on the topic and may. Have a wonderful week and above all all love for your father. Thank you for the request. To you, dear viewers, have a nice next week and I look forward to the next program with you. Whenever you want to have a medical advice or also valuable hints that we could perhaps discuss here once and could. I notice it in the reflection how many people like to watch it and yes, it should always remain interesting. Sometimes topics will be repeated more or less. But that's not a problem at all, because life is in the diversity great and colourful. So we should admit it to everyone. In this sense, I thank you and look forward. To seeing you again.